Oh, so good. Good morning, New York. How's it going? Welcome to another video. Um, I'm going to let me do some sweet things. So the tires I got, or the wheels I got, the tires came in. I don't remember if I showed you, but uh, I got some meat, and uh, we're gonna go get those mounted today. But first, I gotta. Actually, I might do that first. I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna get those mounted. Then we're gonna come back here to Del Casa, and um, my steering rack. I gotta. Well, the rack's in, but I need to. The bar needs to be connected, and I need to align the car. So, real simple stuff. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So, first we're gonna go get the wheels. Sure. Over there somewhere, and then um, put them in the in the thing, and then go to the place and get them all done up and. Yup. Boom. See ya. <laughs> Alrighty. So, like I said, today I'm gonna go get my tires uh, mounted and balanced. The new wheels I got, wheels and tires and such. Um, if you didn't see the tires, I'll show you those right now. They are. Let me, let me, you know, let me, let me show you. Let me show you. They're not the most expensive. They're not the best tire. They're not the the grippiest. But I'll tell you right now, they're pretty sticky. It's a pretty sticky compound. Like, look at it. My goodness. Okay, here's what they are. Uh, Sumitomo? Yeah, they're Sumitomos. HTRZ2s is what they are. I got 255s for the rear and then uh, 245s for the front. But yeah, these are the wheels. Oh, these are the... These are the tires. My goodness. And these are the wheels. I already showed you those. So we're gonna go get a mountain balance. I gotta load them all up real quick, but uh, then we'll be we'll be on the way. All right, so I got the tires all loaded up in the Cherokee wheels and tires, and now I just gotta top off the good old monster here real quick. We shall be heading out in just a jiffy. I'm gonna get it to the ceiling. Just watch. I've never in my life seen a caliper this big. Hey, Tan, what are you doing? Mm, brakes. Why? Because I think I need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Ooh, sneaky peeky. <laughs> Lip sauce. Yep. All right, later. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Later, Tater. You know, I might. Is he still yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got the tires all loaded up. You can see them all right there. And uh, we're heading down to a little place called Soto's Tires. Get these suckies. Get these suckers all mounted up. And, um, I don't know if I'm going to put them on today yet. I might but it's gonna be after the alignment if I do, so I don't know if I'll get the car aligned today. I don't know how much time I get, I'm gonna have. So, we'll, we'll just see, we'll just see. Ooh, they all done, they're all mounted and balanced. All ready to go on. Taryn, what do you think about this? 
brakes. No, look at this. That's it. What do you think about it? <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> uh oh, I gotta return them. They're broken now. Jeez, I swear. Well, that was 70 bones wasted. Nah, we're good. Alright, give me a status report. What's what's going on with this? Nothing. I didn't do nothing to it. I just started working on it. You're pissing all over the ground. That's okay. <sighs> you won't eat that. <laughs> Okie dokie. Look at these pads, bro. They're all cracked. Yo, that's nice. Dude, I'm gonna still reuse them, man. I think they're good. I would return these AutoZone. I'm not. I'm just gonna reuse them. Oh yeah, return your new ones and use those. Alright, I'm gonna unload these Johnnies. Alright, press. Oh, uh, right now, me and uh, Taryn were bleeding the brakes on his Bronco, and then I gotta finish the 240. Uh, the steering bar is out, I mean it's been out for the last couple days, I just gotta shorten it like a quarter inch, and then I can slap that back together, but first I gotta help him finish the brake bleeding process, which I think we're almost done. Alright, brakes are bled, but uh, here's what I'm talking about, so here's the steering bar right here, and it needs to be shorter, which is at this joint, right, right here, like a quarter inch, yeah brakes are easy, and then it should go to fit. I don't know if I showed you the wheels yet, but look at that. My goodness, they look good. That's like, that's some meat right there is what that is. Looks aggressive. Alrighty, so, I told you I need to shorten the steering bar, but I shortened it too much, so now I need to lengthen it. I don't know if you guys knew this, because I sure didn't. Steering bars move right there, they pivot in and out. Didn't know that. What's up, G? So yeah, I gotta lengthen it just a, a smidge. What? No, I don't. I don't even know what that means. Alrighty, so I don't know if that even did anything. We're about to figure it out, though. I need to pry this open a little bit. Where are you going? Talking yourself? Yeah. I am. I'm gonna pry this one open a little bit because I think I messed up this when I was pounding on it before. But psh, no big deal. So yeah, this needs to be done and then I can test fit again. Oh, alrighty. I thought we're both just finishing up. <laughs> that was perfect. So Taryn, what'd you do? What'd you get done? Well, there boys, you say? We got them tires <laughs> on. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, bro. Damn <laughs> brakes are all done now. The parking brakes are in now, boy. Hell yeah, brother. Over here, everything's all tight. I got it all Loctited. Um, test drive's next. Um, Isn't that right? No, pull the motor up next. And then we can go test drive. Oh, yeah, you're right. You wanna fl you're, you're gonna be in there? No, I'll no. No, not at all. You just roll it down the driveway and test drive it. Oh! Show them the incline, bro. Uh, it's not that steep. <laughs> um, you yeah. gotta pull your tires off. You're gonna ride on your rotors, too. So okay. Tell, let everyone know who. Ride on your rotors. Yeah, it's safer. It's, yeah, it's, exactly. It saves your tires. Just ride on the brakes. <laughs> like, it's. Yo, number, there's number four right there. That's number four. She's gone around. <laughs> Idiot, dude. Oh, I freaking love these wheels. Why you gotta wire your choo-choo horn? My choo-choo horn up. Alrighty. <clears throat> so it's all back together. I'm gonna start her up. First time in a while, and probably a week. So, well, let's stay there. Sure. Oh man, it's the time. Oh, not the timing. What the? What in the hell? The uh, alignment's gonna be a little off, I already know that, I'm already prepared, but it should be pretty, pretty much perfect. Like, it's definitely gonna be in the ballpark. Woohoo! Oh, power steering feels nice. 
in case you have no idea what's going on, because I don't, uh, this is what happened. Um, I put a new rack in, and it was complete pain in the butt, just absolute nightmare. Um, I had polyurethane, but aftermarket polyurethane bushings, which also were a nightmare. And I had, um, actually no, okay, so the new rack, which is just an OEM replacement I got from AutoZone. Um, then the, the bushings I got when I bought the subframe from I got the guy in El Paso. Then um, um, I got ISR lines and the ISR aluminum bushing. Or no, no, it was Circuit Sports aluminum bushing. What's up? Yeah. All right, I'll go to Taco Bell with you, but I want to drive this. All right. In theory, yeah. All right, I'll see ya. All right, so what I was saying is I got the ISR um, hard lines, which those were perfect. Those went on great. They're not leaking or anything. And I got a Circuit Sports um, aluminum steering rack bushing spacer thing. No, it's bushing, not a spacer. And that was garbage. It was machined wrong, so it had, you, you know, the blue one with the four holes. Every one of the holes was about a millimeter too close to the opposite hole. So if they were all moved out just a tiny bit, it would have fit perfect. But I had to get new bushing, or no, okay, so I had the bushing, then it had these little metal bushings in it, as you saw, which I got new ones. Hi, Hi Pop. How are you? I got new ones, and um, I used an aluminum rod and pressed them in there and did all that fun stuff. And I had to drill them out to make it fit, but... Is he drinking poo yet? No, he hasn't come home. But yeah, so they fit and um, got it all together, got everything locked tight, it torqued down. Oh, and another thing is my uh, steering bar that, where I showed you that pivot point where it can move in and out, that was freaking seized. So I unseized that and um, it was all hunky-dory. So this thing has been warming up for enough. I'm gonna go for that test drive now and I'll tell you all about it. Alrighty, so I did that test drive and it was pretty good actually. It was, it felt perfect, but I needed to turn the, well it wasn't perfect. It felt like I had a tiny, tiny bit of toe in and I needed, needed to turn the tie rod ends upside down because they like kind of bend up and they need to be bending down a little because the ends of them are bent. Um, that's just how it is. So. Wheels are back on. If this test drive is good, then the good wheels are going on, and then it's done. And I can't wait. So one more test drive. It should be perfect, in theory, but we're about to figure it out. Oh man, these new wheels. My goodness. Wheels make a car. If you have like an ugly car and you put some sweet wheels, I'm not saying a 240 is ugly, not at all, but if you put some sweet wheels on a, an okay looking car, that might be a cool car. So uh, first little little comparisons from the back here. Let's just let's just appreciate this. That's stock. That's the new one. And down the side there. Just some meat. <laughs> oh my goodness, it looks so good. I'm I'm in love with my car all over again. It looks so good. It looks like a new car, like honestly, before it looked like, you know, just a 240, just a pretty stock, well, it looked like stock 240 to me. Now it looks like a freaking race car. Like, doesn't even look like it has drift stance, it has like race car stance. Pulling the last, last burn off. You know what, here's the funny part here. That's like a relatively, it's a balding tire. I just got these like two weeks ago. So I'm very, very happy with, with how it came out. It's freaking awesome. And now that the alignment's good and the wheels are on and it's, it's freaking cherry. Um, let's give you guys one more look here. Ooh. It's funny. The tires are so much fatter. It doesn't it makes the tip look not as big. But yeah, she looks freaking beautiful.
Alrighty, so that's going to do it for this one. You guys have a good one. I'll see you later. Remember, um, if you don't put your rocks in the microwave, then they're, they're going to freeze. You got to do it. Alright, I'll see you guys. Deuces.